This week, we thought we would give Sparks that privilege. Wiki, wiki. Sparks, wiki, 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 wiki. Yeah, Grace yeah. us with your right. book club. Um, so, for book club, I've got The Woods by James Tinian the Fourth, And um, it's pretty rad. So, the way that I came across this is the last Comic-Con I went to, which was a couple of years back in San Diego with Brandon, we went by... A booth and they had some comics set out um, for Boom Studios and I saw the cover of The Woods and I was like, oh man, this looks kind of groovy. This is some teenagers looking off at a forest wooded area and then a giant Saturn planet in the sky. What's going on there? And so they explained to me a little bit about it and I was like, that sounds dope. I'll pick up the <laughs> first two volumes. And little did I know that it's actually one of the coolest comics I, I've gotten into right now and I pick up the new volumes as they come out. Um, The basic premise is that there are these characters you get to know um, in high school, and they uh, wind up getting transported to this outside space planet and have no idea what's going on. And it's this whole high school of people, um, these interesting characters that you've already met. Um, how they're connected to each other, you you get established relationships, and they're all just like, holy crap, what's happening? And it, it's literally like, there's no explanations, um, like, y- even yet, exactly what's going on. It's just like, oh, we're here now, how do we survive now that we have no power and, and no food supply and what's going on? And it only gets more and more interesting because this this place that they're at is filled with creatures and then other inhabitants and they start coming across other people and realizing that they are not the first people from their their earth to be transported there and these people are from far across the history of time um it's super interesting super super great read uh the characters really pop the art is beautiful um brandon you've checked out the first volume. yeah i uh you loaned me the first volume and i loved it it was uh it was so unique and different. And, you know, James Tinian, I was deliberately turned off because his, um, his DC work for a while wasn't great. And I wasn't crazy. Like, uh, Talon? I didn't like Talon. Oh, he totally did Talon. He totally Calvin did Talon. Calvin Rose. Yeah. I bought all of those comics. Me too. Oh, man. That book was not good. No. He did Red Hood and the Outlaws after Scott Liddell. That's the only good run of that. And it's not even that great. Scott Liddell's run was better, though. Uh huh. All right. Uh huh. I haven't read all of it. Because Scott Liddell had Kenneth Rockefeller. Anyway. Um, oh, the Rockefeller run. Yeah. No, that's a good run. Just yeah, it's good. Okay. But so, but Scott, so he followed Scott Liddell to do Red and the Alice, and again, it wasn't great. So going into the woods, I was a little apprehensive because again, his stuff. But you know, he's a he's a great writer, and right now he's writing detective comics. It's fantastic. I don't know what happened with his early DC stuff, but. I think it was just still too new. Probably. But he was working on The Woods before he did the DC stuff. And DC, uh, The Woods is a Boom a Boom Studios uh, title. And Boom's comics have been excellent. Mm-hmm. They really have. They really stepped it up a notch. Um, but yeah, The, the Woods is, is crazy, weird, and dark. And like these are kids. And so you kind of expect a kid's romp. But no. <laughs> like, like Correct me if I'm wrong, Sparks. But a, a, a kid's arm explodes into bugs in the first volume. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. it's uh, it pulls no punches with how these uh, ki- these teenagers interact with each other and um, to what extent the world will punish them or to what extent other people uh, will turn against each other within the high school for bids of power. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's crazy. Here's a fun fact. Universal Cable Productions has picked up the rights to the comic created by James Tenney and the fourth and artist Michael Dionis. That will never yeah. happen, much like Descender. Duh. This what, what network would a sender be on? That's you need a budget and a half. Yeah, they picked up the sender when the no, first issue dropped. Yeah, I know they did. Anyway, it's dumb. My fractions company I think did it oh, because he's not writing comic, uh, comics anymore. Oh, but yeah, the woods was the woods was great. I right? read the first issue or, or two issues, but that was so long ago because yeah. it's way past. that. You should out. definitely check. It. I think the first volume is like four issues. Um, that seems super short. Yeah, but it's good. Like I, I read it in one setting. Like I, I no, could yeah, not yeah. put it down. It was so it was so well done. The art's gorgeous. The the the, the story is so well written. I haven't read after the first volume yet because I've been meaning to pick up pick up the trades on my own, uh, which I, I yeah. might actually not talking about it. But uh, yeah, each volume is is 
four chapters long and um it that seems short but it's actually it's it's packed with so much content there's a lot to chew on between volumes cool all right yeah uh it's a it's a good it's good stuff uh so that, that that's our uh do you have anything, it, any final thoughts and it's very it's very clear when you're going from volume to volume like why they did it in four chapters is because you, you really there's an arc to each one yeah yeah, I noticed that in the first one. I wasn't sure if it carried on to the next ones. Yeah, you kind of, um, you start uh, not like severe time jumping, but you start like picking back up and seeing how they progress with like figuring out uh, how their society works at the high school. Some characters are now like much further skilled with learning about different creatures and things because some time has passed between each volume. It's kind of like Saga in that way where, they would, mm. where you'd get a, a small time jump. I just picked up issue 38. Yeah, me too. Golly gosh, it's... I haven't read the last three. <laughs> I haven't read the last like ten. <laughs> um, yeah, any any final thoughts you want to share with us on on the woods, Sparks? As we wrap up, uh, I highly recommend it. Um, seriously, check out. I, I'd say to anybody, check out the first four, and that kind of tells you whether you're going to be into it or not right away. So, so check out the first volume, any of the first four issues, of the first volume. Well, the first yeah. four volumes, yeah. 